Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about organic matter mineralization. Organic matter is just decayed plant or animal material that's down in the soil, and as that breaks down, they call that mineralization, and then there's a release of nutrients for the next crop. Well, the mineralization will change during the year. It'll speed up and it'll slow down based on temperature and moisture conditions. As things warm up and as we have a little more moisture, we're gonna have more mineralization. So for the crop, it actually works out pretty well because as that crop develops and it starts to need more plant food, that's just exactly how the soil works and how nature works because it's going to start breaking down more of that organic matter as we get further into the season. The reason why we're talking about this today is one of the things that farmers are always looking at is fertilizing their crop. but. If they have a lot of organic matter in the soil, they don't need to put on as much fertilizer. For each 1% of organic matter, you'll get a range of 20 to 30 pounds of free nitrogen per year, four to seven pounds of phosphorus, and two to three pounds of sulfur. For farmers, what they will do then is figure how much organic matter they have in their soils. Many times soils will have somewhere between two and four percent in the Midwest, but it could be anywhere from a half a percent to seven or eight percent. It can really vary quite a bit. So farmers will take soil tests to find out what their organic matter levels are, and then they'll figure what their range in their area is, like with nitrogen, for example, I'll say it's 20 to 30 pounds per percent of organic matter. Most farmers will say, okay, I'll figure on the safe side and figure 20 pounds for each 1% of organic matter I have. So if I have 4% organic matter in my field, four times 20 would be 80 pounds of nitrogen that would come for free during the season. Again though, there is a range here, and like Darren said a little bit earlier, more of the organic matter will break down in a warmer year, but the other thing that can speed up that organic matter breakdown is tillage. So if a farmer is going to do tillage, he's in a warm area of the country, and he has an especially warm year, we might figure rather than the 20 pounds, we might figure the 25 to 30 pounds. If he's in a colder area, doesn't do as much tillage, and has a cold year, then 20 pounds is is I'm sure all he's gonna get, and that might even be pushing it sometimes. As I mentioned before, the organic matter can change quite a bit uh, in different parts of a field and from one area to the next. So we'll often see farmers that have to apply more fertilizer when they have lower amounts of organic matter in the soil versus farmers who have high amounts of organic matter, they're gonna get much more mineralization in their fields and they can get by raising the similar yield goal to the other farmer with much less fertilizer applied. So this is something that's relatively new in agriculture. It's probably happened over the last 10 years that farmers are really looking at what's going to mineralize in their soil since we have such higher yield goals than used to have. Well, once again, organic matter mineralization is simply this organic matter breaking down in soil, releasing free nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur for upcoming crops. Having organic matter break down and release nutrients is important, but so is having great weed control. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 